driving collar, harness collar, saddle, belly band, chest strap, girth. Okay, so there's five and maybe six parts to this saddle here. I'll start from the back. There's the belly strap, there's the saddle, the hasp, the collar, the chest strap, and the girth straps. So you put the collar. Oh, face him towards me more. You put the collar around the dog's head, like so. Make sure that the the normal collar is in front of the collar that we're affixing here. Uh, and then chest strap. The next thing to do is the chest strap. So the chest strap is secured by securing the girth straps. Girth straps are fairly tight. Belly strap is the last thing you do. It goes behind his chest and it's looser than the harness straps. And then let's make sure this is centered. That looks good. All right, the dog's ready to go. Tuck these in oh. to not irritate him. So here we are with, we've already saddled up Come the dog. Come and now we're gonna hitch the dog to the salty. All right, Tug, hang on, okay. buddy. Hang on. So the first thing you do is you need to remove the cotter pin and the wing nut. Grab the sulky. Sulky goes on the bolt. Sometimes you've got to wiggle the harness to make it work. Put the wing nut back on. Finger tight is fine. Put the cotter pin in. All right, the cotter pin goes in the little hole on the top of the bolt. We so much can't see can't without glasses. Can't see without my glasses very well. There we go. Safety straps. All right, buddy, turn this way. The dog needs to be lined up with the cart, or else. Oh, um, the safety straps are no. on the harness. We put on the sulky. The last step is to put on the driving collar and the reins. The driving collar is just a normal dog collar, except it's got two rings, one for each rein. So the driving collar buckles up. The rings are on either side. The reins are affixed to the sulky. We keep it with a rubber band on it. Rubber band goes in the pocket. Okay, so here's one of the driving rings. And here's the other. And the reins go back here to the driver. And the next Step is to sit on the sulky, get the seat right. So, okay, you're on. Okay, so the last step in the process is to make sure that the harness doesn't pull up and so it rides properly. You have a seat. Notice how it's pulled up the um, harness from the dog. So, that's going to make it harder for the dog to pull. So, we need to bring the seat forward so the center of gravity will be forward and it won't pull up. So, I'm going to adjust these two handles, both turn counterclockwise, and then I'm going to push the seat forward. Let's see. Okay, I push the seat forward, in this case about two inches. I'm going to tighten these. Finger tight's fine. Grab the reins again. Gonna sit down, and lo and behold, at least when you put your feet on the on the sulky, it doesn't pull the harness up. So, 
Now go up and put thy fingers in it to see how much space. Oh, there you go. Ah, very good. <laughs> Think of the sulky as a seesaw. The seat is behind the fulcrum or the axle, and the shaft tip is in front of the fulcrum or axle. You want to adjust the seat forward and back such that there is a slight lift on the tip of the, sh of the shaft. That makes it easy for the dog to pull.